hi again from the garden. So it has been a couple weeks since I posted any YouTube videos for you guys. Um, so I wanted to hop on here quick before Christmas just to share a few garden updates and then give you guys um, kind of a little sneak peek of what I'm going to have going on in January. Now if you have been watching my videos throughout the course of the last year you know that I am also a professional photographer. Um, I have been for about 18 years and coming up to the Christmas season I have been so busy with the studio. Um, I also was out for a week sick which is why I have not posted a video in a couple weeks. Um, but I am really excited to say I am finally past the Christmas rush and I should be resuming all of my weekly content again after the new year in January. So there's basically three things that I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, first is a garden update which clearly you can see it is winter. We don't even have any snow on the ground, um, which I guess is kind of normal for our climate. Sometimes we have snow for Christmas, sometimes we don't. This year we do not. Last year we had some huge storms roll through. We actually had three tornadoes in the area, and here we had wind gusts of about 70 miles per hour. So if you can see my greenhouse behind me, you'll notice that there are a few panels missing. Um, so I think I'm just gonna make sure that it makes it through the winter and then repair it in the spring. If any of you guys that are watching know a good source for greenhouse panels, the plastic ones, comment down below. I have a few on hand, but I'm having trouble finding some. I think it's the four millimeter thickness. Um, so if you know a source, comment down below, but that will be a project in the spring. One of the other things that I am really starting to plan for next year besides my garden itself and all the flowers I'm growing are dried flowers that I'm going to be using. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm going to pop inside and show you some dried flowers that I saved this year and kind of what I have in the works for those. But one of the main things I wanted to share with you guys in this video were the different videos that I will actually have coming up in January. So one of the first ones that I'm going to put together is what I learned in my first year flower farming. And let me tell you, I learned a lot. So I'm working on that video right now and I want to share with you guys everything that I learned in my first official year of growing cut flowers and selling them at farmers markets. Another project that I'm going to be starting in a couple weeks are my Lysianthus seeds. If you've grown Lysianthus before, you know that they are so slow at growing. I started them last year and it was so fun to grow them. I learned a few things from growing them last year for the first time and I'm changing how I grow them this year. So I want to share that with you guys too. I'm going to be starting those in a couple weeks and I think I have about 10 or 12 different varieties that I'm growing this year. So watch for that video really soon. And then of course I'm going to be putting together some videos videos of all of the annual cut flower seeds that I'm starting this year, the different perennials that I'm growing. Um, I have a daffodil planting project coming up. I'm going to be starting some more tulips and crates. That will be coming up in the next couple weeks. And then one of the videos coming up really soon in January will be about dried flowers. That is a project that I really want to dive into for next year. So actually, I'm going to take you inside right now to my studio and show you some flowers that I have started drying as an experiment and what I have planned for them in 2022. So one of the projects that I had planned for this fall that I never got around to was using some dried flowers. If you saw my two-part video on the big end of the year market that I did in September, I had saved these dried flowers specifically for that market and I was planning to make some flower crowns. Well, time got away from me. I never got it done, which is fine. I will put these away in a box up on a shelf and they will last um, till whenever I wanna use them. But one of the things that I really wanna concentrate to expand my growing season for 2022 is adding some dried flowers into uh, my product line. So this year I plan to have a patch of flowers that I grow specifically for cut flowers. So I'm going to be growing some gomfrina, which I have here. I'll be growing straw flowers. I also will be growing status and larkspur and a few other things that dry really well. So one of my videos coming up will be on the specific flowers that I'm growing for the dried flowers and what I plan to do with those in 2022. And I am really excited for those upcoming projects and I think it will really expand my growing season past when I can sell cut flowers right out of the garden. Well that's going to do it for this quick video. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will see you in 2022 with a lot more content and a lot more projects and planning for this year's cut flower garden. We'll see you soon.